Hey, and welcome to this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add details with sharp corners to a surface which is curved. So if we go ahead and create an extrusion down into the mesh, and another one to offset, when we hit free for smooth preview, you'll see all the edges collapse and the result is very rounded. You might want this, but this is not what we're going for in this tutorial. To stop this, we need to add more edges. So for the edge loop tool, let's add some. We need to add some like this, triple edge in the corners to constrain them. If we now hit free on the keyboard, you can now see how we have sharp edges like we wanted, although we also get creases running through our smooth mesh, which we don't want. To fix this, we need to change the flow of the topology, as this is caused by these edges running in parallel across the mesh. Start by adding a diagonal edge like so. Now add an edge like so, connecting the supporting edges like this. This new edge is starting to form the containing edge for the extrusion so we can continue it round. Next, to get rid of these triangles and to remove the extra edge, we want to select the edges we want to delete. From this point, we want to delete the supporting edge as we want to have the containing edge continue with the original edge in the mesh. We also want to delete this single edge here to create the flow as we want. You can see how the edge flows nicely now. Let's do the same to the other side. Alternatively, you can do this by merging the verts. Add the diagonal line in like we did before, and draw in the edge like so. In vertex mode now, grab these two vertices and merge them to the center. Do the same to the other side by hitting G to repeat the last action you performed. Select the edges running through like so and simply hit delete. You might find this to be a slightly faster way to achieve the same result. Do the same for the rest of the edges and you're done. Notice how there's no more pinching across the mesh. In the corners we do get a little pinching though, and to resolve this you want to work with a mesh with more subdivisions. I'll quickly show an example of the same technique but on a more dense mesh. Notice how there's less pinching in the corners. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you get stuck at any point, leave a comment in the description and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.